Welcome to MultiTeach 5.7, where we have a lot of emphasis on making active content a lot easier to access within the classroom. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is all new uh, icons for our favorites. And one of the biggest features that I'm going to spend the most time highlighting is just that ability to save your zone layout. So here you can, with one tap, open up an entire collaboration station, say this one. You can see it loads up multiple web pages it, in a tabletop view. It loads up. This is a mind map over on this corner, and then there's actual YouTube link lesson activities uh, directly accessible with one tap. Uh, so we're really making it super easy to access these custom zone saved layouts. Um, they have like multiple web pages as a Pinterest page, and it just gives you that ability to have many different forms of learning. So you can have either mind maps, um, you can have you know different types of uh, groups and stuff. So it's just really really simple. And then for this one, I can also see like here are all the characters in this list. Now, another thing that we've done is really expanded the library of secondary content, where now we have uh, YouTube link lessons for ages 16 plus. Uh, so I'll give you an example of that. So in this example, we're talking about the physics of space battles. And so we have the YouTube video in the corner here in tabletop mode. We have items that we can discuss, like can, is it possible to hear an explosion in space when they're in a vacuum environment? We have a number of different questions that are uh, available in this corner. And then in this one, we also have a keyword type example. One of the, the neat features about our new zone screen is that it also includes the ability to save the default layout. So say I want to have three different applications as my default layout, I can say set default layout and I can set this one to be the default layout. So the next time I launch Snowflake MultiTeach, it will just launch the MathBugs application and it will launch the two videos that I want uh, immediately. So it's just a really easy way of setting it up. So age appropriate lessons can be found in the Lessons app. You can just go to Community Lessons in the top and then you can specify the age group. And so here there's a 16 plus age group and it will load up lessons that are specific to, to that age group. And you can see like a number of the YouTube link lessons are here. So there's a ton of different options, a lot of content that has been added specifically uh, for that age group. Um, as usual, if you are looking for content, you can just search for it directly here. Um, so I can search space physics. And I should be able to find a bunch of lessons that are directly relevant uh, to the older age groups. One of the big, big changes for this version is that we've also added the ability to have lesson lists. Let's say we have the physics of space battles. Sometimes a single lesson is a very short experience. So we want people to be able to tell a little bit more of the story using multiple lessons. So you can see I have one, two, three different lessons in this lesson list. I can actually star that list and then put it directly in the home page. And so that's this page right here where you can see all the different lesson types there. They have a different icon for each type and you can click on this lesson, the physics of space battles, the, the list. And now it's loaded up a list of lessons. So here I can have that discussion item first. Once I'm done with that activity, I can press next and I can see another activity. So there's a number of activities. It says lesson two of three. And I can press next and I can go to the third lesson. Sometimes when teachers are using zones, they want to highlight one particular piece of content. We can do that now with the spotlight. So with spotlight, there is this zoomable, you can zoom to scale, um, zoomable space where I can highlight one area or one piece of content at a time. And this is really useful when you're using it within the zones feature because it you can, allows you to focus on one, one part of the zone at any given time. And then to get rid of it, there's a little X button in the corner. And that's some of the examples.